It's the God G Holy. I'm back with the uh, Jeezy uh, Gucci Mane recap. Um, wild night, historic night for hip hop. Um, I mean, I wouldn't say it went off without a glitch, but that's neither here nor there. Let's recap real fast. I had to write this shit down. Um, one hour jam session introduction. It was like, it took like an hour for them niggas to get from backstage to front stage. Like, I don't, there was like an hour jam session. Okay, then, then they actually talked to the mayor, like before the shit. Like the mayor came on the screen and talked to them and the shit was like some pre-fight shit. Like, it's crazy. Um, yeah, it was a great stage, dope ass stage. The stage was phenomenal, honestly. Probably was the best stage you could ever think of. It was dope as shit. Um, Gucci started straight off with a diss track. Aimed at Jeezy, like, straight, like. Now, honestly, if I'm, if I'm a battle rapper, let's say... I'm a battle rapper and I'm battling Gucci Mane and I'm Jeezy and we both battle rappers. I could have guessed he was going to do that straight out the gate. 100,000%. So Jeezy kept his composure. You know, while, while, like, Jeezy, whole, yo, Jeezy was a fucking, yo, Jeezy is a G, my nigga. Jeezy kept his whole composure throughout that whole shit. So after that, he got up and he did the Trap or Die intro. And then Gucci performed another diss song. And Jeezy just sitting there like, this motherfucker is crazy. You can see it in Jeezy's face. That's not you be looking at a motherfucker and they be looking at another motherfucker like, oh, look at this motherfucker. That's how Jeezy was looking at, looking at this nigga. So after that, you could tell Jeezy was really growing tired of this nigga. Like, Jeezy really wasn't, you know what I mean? Like, fucking with his energy. So like, when he was performing, um, what's this shit? Uh, the the actual like trap or die song, he was snapping like I never even heard Jeezy voice register that loud like he was snapping and I seen Jeezy perform and he he, he could tell you could just tell he's annoyed and aggravated. Also, what was weird about the first diss track that I didn't mention is the shit was like made for the night or something like maybe I'm tripping but I never heard that song. And I think Jeezy, the song after he did that, he was like, he never heard that song either. Um, but I never heard that song. It was like a diss track made for tonight. Like the hook was like, this is Jeezy versus Gucci round one. I was like, this is, this is weird as shit. It's like he was trying to be ultra aggressive and it just backfired. Like you'll see though. Jeezy kept saying grown man shit. Like he kept reminding Gucci he was on some grown man shit. And Gucci was just... He, he was on some other shit. Yeah, he was performing, my bad, he was performing standing ovation. When it, when 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 Jeezy whole energy changed was when he was performing uh, standing ovation. And then uh, Gucci did Plain Jane, Jeezy did Gangsta Music. That shit went over well. Guwap did I'm a Dog. He got some of his energy back at that point. At that point, it was like, all right, he got a little bit of his energy back. Because right after them disses, he was flat as shit. He was his whole energy had changed. Then Jeezy did bottom of the map. Then uh he did vet pass by. That was that was cool, but it wasn't bottom of the map. Then Jeezy did the uh the shit off came being a snowman. And then Gucci Gucci said the nigga had too many old hits. Like, yo, why don't you pay some shit that's new? And it's like, dog. That's cool. I get what you're saying because it's, it's, you want to say what works to your advantage. You get what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, this shit is a versus. Like, niggas want to see LL versus fucking KRS One. Neither one of them niggas had a hit since 1996. You get what I'm saying? So that's not for this. Like, that was cool, but that's not what this is about. Um, yeah, the nigga, then the nigga played a new song. Like, Gucci, after he said that, he played a new song. And I don't think nobody knew that shit. And then Jeezy hit him with Boys in the Hood verse. To me, you could have ended the battle right there. Like, that's Jeezy's most iconic verse. And it went off at the right time. And it went over well. This shit could have ended right there. You know what I'm saying? Gucci played that Zone 6. That's my hood. 
Um, good joint. Um, Jeezy plays Sky's the Limit. Um, which I didn't even have that. I did 25 Jeezy songs in the pre-battle, and I didn't have Sky's the Limit on there. Um, Jeezy played both with Drake, which is my shit. And then Jeezy played Go Crazy with Jay. And Jeezy, like, he, he threw a little bit of shade at, you know, oh, that's cute, you got Drake, but, you know, I got Jay on my shit. You know what I mean? Like, um, that was dope. Uh, okay, Gucci do bricks. Um, you know, balling like an athlete but got no jumper. That shit came from bricks, of course. Um, then he do the song with Bankroll. The, uh, what's the shit with Bankroll called? Um, All There. And uh, G Gucci, you know, was like Bankroll saved you on that. But he he, he kind of had to say that because he was saying Gucci didn't play nothing. I mean, Jeezy didn't play nothing current. So when he played something current, he was like, oh, yeah, Bankroll saved you on that. You know what I mean? Um, I'm just I'm just noticing a little slick shit they saying. Mind you, the whole time is, ten yo, it's tension. Like, these niggas is... is it's just as weird as you thought it was gonna be. You know what I mean? It's like super tension. Oh yeah, then Gucci made uh uh play make the trap a. That was that was a one. Um shout out to OJ the Juice Man. Jeezy played Who That. Who That was the biggest shit of not the biggest shit, but the most upbeat, energetic shit of the whole night. Like Who That is just different. That shit is different. Uh Boom, boom, then Guwap plays Steady Mob. And this is when, maybe probably like towards the middle, Gucci was doing his best. You know what I mean? Because may, even if he wasn't winning the rounds, he was like competing. You know what I mean? Um, and then Jeezy hit him with the Shorty Low classic, the, the They Know. Gucci came back with Heavy. See what I'm saying? Like, Heavy not a bad song. But it's like, this how I knew it was going to go. It's just levels to the shit. Heavy is not a bad song. But they know Jeezy Verse. You ever been in the club when Jeezy Verse come on on They Know? Hop about that pretty motherfucker like, hello. The whole club, word for word. A lot. That's what I'm saying. A lot of this Jeezy shit culturally is just too, this had too big of an impact, dog. Like, it. it's crazy because when you're talking about verses, you're talking about moments. You know what I mean? You're talking about impact that's why when niggas was saying um you know ti wouldn't be 50 i was like ti got the better catalog you know what i'm saying so he he'll win but and when i thought about it 50 got a lot of impact with a lot of them songs like you know the moments where you're like oh shit that was a that was a moment i remember that i was i was 18 i was i had i had this car i had you know what I mean? So Jeezy had a lot of that. Like just way more than Gucci. You know what I mean? Um uh, let me see match energy wise. Lose my mind was a big one. Um Jeezy played Street Nigga. G uh he played First Day Out the Feds. First Day Out the Feds for Gucci is a real big If you didn't know, that started the whole wave of the first day out songs. You get what I'm saying? So that that was that was big. Um, Jeezy played, uh, Air Forces. Um, Gucci then goes into how he has a $10,000 outfit on and then told the crowd to look at his opponent. Like, it was like a little crowd there, like niggas friends and shit like that. Like, he was like, look at his opponent. And then Jeezy came back before his next song. And he was like, I ain't got a $10,000 outfit, but I own half for Atlanta. Another bomb. That was another bomb. Um, and then, you know, Wasted, then he played Trap Star. All right, then Gucci go into the truth. The moment we all been waiting for, nine minutes into the video. He goes into truth. And after that, even after that, he's still saying smoking on a pack of the dude, you know what I mean? Dead homie, I ain't even gonna say his, his name. Um, which I still don't know that was Jeezy homie, but that's a whole nother story. Um, he and he said he put that nigga in the dirt. He smoked and he, and and he told Jeezy if he sent somebody else, he'd kill them niggas too. Gucci was on all the bullshit tonight, but it, it kind of flipped when you know Jeezy on his next turn, he let him know like, yo, 
the reason I'm even doing this shit with you, my nigga, is so we could show that we swear. Because let's keep it real, dog. Atlanta not that big. Atlanta's not that big. These niggas ain't really trying to run into each other like that. Atlanta is not that big, bro. If these niggas really wanted to get it on and this shit happened 15 years ago, come on, man. You know what I mean? So that's so Jeezy is trying to, you know, remind him, like, I brought you here for this. You know what I mean? He, you can tell throughout the song when he dissing his dad, homie, Jeezy is like, you know what I mean? You could just tell he like, I'm going to keep it where it's supposed to be so I can get the message across. Jeezy really want... Because if you didn't know, dog, all this shit that's happening in Philly, all this shit that's happening in Chicago, all this, that, and the third, all that shit is really behind Gucci. All that shit is really behind Gucci, man. But again, that's another story. So, you know what I mean? I just thought that was real for Jeezy to be like... I know some people are going to be like, look, you got a dead homie. It went that far. But I'm saying, just on some real nigga shit as far as dealing with the youth and the way they view things. That's a big image to see Jeezy standing next to Gucci. And you know what I mean? Like, you don't never know what that could spark. Because that beef sparked all this shit. So you never even know what them coming together could spark as far as change. And niggas putting shit behind each other, man. Because even before King Von died, he was like, man, I'd be willing to squash it with them niggas. Like, there's so many bodies on each side. It's like, when this shit gonna stop? You get what I'm saying? And then when you see two OGs put it together like that, you could really be like, nah, we could do this shit. You get what I'm saying? So yeah, that's what he was just saying. He was just reminding them of what they was actually there to do before telling him, you know, he was the realest nigga in it. <laughs> He's the realest nigga alive. Um, he played that joint. Um, Gucci played... Oh, then Gucci played another disc. Right after Jeezy said all that Martin Luther King shit, Gucci came right back with another diss. I never knew this nigga had so many Jeezy disses. Crazy. Um, hello. Boom. Then Gucci played, uh, uh, put on. Then he played, uh, oh, Trap House. Gucci played Trap House. Jeezy played Seen It All with Jay. Gucci played the shit with the Migos. I forgot what that shit was called. And then Jeezy played You Gotta Believe. Um, or the intro to uh, 102. And then Watt played Geeked Up and Jeezy. That's what I call it. A, a lot of this shit is what I be calling these shits. I, so a lot of these shits, I don't know the official names of these shits. I, a lot of this shit was just mixtape shit anyway. Soul Survivor, he's, uh, he plays Soul Survivor. That went off super well. Jeezy. Um, Gucci played some shit. Uh, I didn't know what it was. Jeezy played Jeezy. Jeezy liked to drink. Jeezy liked to smoke. Jeezy liked to mix on the him with his coke. Uh, yeah, lemonade. Welcome back. It just after that, man. They did. They at the end of the day, dog. They did so icy together, and that was the big thing. You know what I mean? Because at that moment, I could see why really put shit behind them. It looked like. And Jeezy at the same time. And Jeezy was really excited for that moment. I could tell he was glad he got that off. You know what I mean? And, you know, despite the, the tragedies that may have happened between them two. You know, they, they they at the club right now. You know what I mean? Together. So that's just big. That imagery is big for the youth and what's going on right now. So I commend them for that. And then uh, they did So Icy Together. And then Jeezy uh, premiered a song with Rick Ross called uh, the Almighty Black Dollar, I believe it's called. And so, as um, far as a score, picking a winner, it's 17-3 Jeezy. You already know, like, it's 17-3 Jeezy. Easy, easy. It was an easy night for Jeezy. It was just as easy as I thought it was going to be. No disrespect to Guwap. Guwap got bangers. But when you talking about Jizzle, you got to come harder than that, my nigga. Like, hey. <laughs> You flat out, no homo, you got to come harder than that. Jeezy did his fucking thing, you know what I mean? It went exactly like I thought it was going to go. So I'm saying 17-3 Jeezy, you know what I mean? Gucci snuck a few in there in the middle, you know what I mean? So even if a nigga wanted to give Guwap 5, I wouldn't be mad at it. Even 6, I wouldn't be mad at it. But, you know, I'm going to stay at 3, 17-3. And uh, 
That's it, man. 17-3 for Mr. 17-5. And uh, that's about it. It's the guy G. Holy wrapping this shit up, recapping this shit up. And if you never check me out, go do that because I'm nice as shit. <laughs> I know niggas probably wouldn't even expect me to be this investing into a Jeezy and Gucci Mane uh, joint because, you know, I don't probably sound like I rap like, you know what I mean? I rap like I don't listen to neither one of these niggas, but I really fuck with both of them. So it was good. Good for the culture. Good for ATL. Good for the rap game. Good for verses. It was like 2 million people in there, supposedly. I was watching on Apple Music. I ain't watching on fucking, uh, whatchamacallit, on uh, Apple TV. But um, I'm, I'm going to go back. I'm going to check the Instagram comments. I know that shit got crazy around the time we played that Truth Track and all that. So I checked that shit out. But yeah, that's about it, man. More of my reviews is like on this page too. So click back. I got a Busta Rhymes review. I got a fucking Russ review. Go check that shit out, man. Love. Three times.